Hey, this is Gareth Dyke, and in this short video presentation today, we're going to have a quick look at the ORCID uh, researcher project, the ORCID ID site, these unique ORCID identification numbers that many researchers around the world are using and sharing. So maybe you've seen these little green identification tags on PDFs of articles that you've downloaded recently. We'll have a look at what they are and I'll show you why they're useful. So if you don't have one of these unique identification numbers, we recommend that you get one because this is a great way, a free way, for you to distinguish yourself from other colleagues and for international colleagues who may not know you, who may not know your name, to identify you from your work, especially in situations where there are lots of other people with the same family name. Can be very useful. Imagine your name's Smith or something working in England. It's tough to figure out which Smith is you. And so these identification tags from the not-for-profit ORCID org project that you can see here can be very very useful as a tool for researchers so here's the website the orchid.org website you can see it here on my screen and if you don't have one of these identification numbers you can sign up in a moment in a very easy quick series of steps to get your unique identification number you can then use it and often Journal Manuscript Submission Systems, Scholar One, Manuscript Central, uh, Editorial Manager, Open Journal Systems are asking researchers to use these identification numbers when they sign up and submit articles for publication. So useful, as I hope you'll be able to see. Let's go into my ORCID site. You can go in here and have a look at my ORCID site. I signed up maybe two years ago, so I don't have all of the information in here that I could have. But as you can see, this is a very good way to keep your resume updated, your CV updated without doing anything, without really lifting a finger, because all you have to do is sign up and then this system searches other databases especially publication databases, and populates your profile for you. You can see here's my name, my ORCID ID, my country. I could put keywords for my research area. I could put other websites, social media in here also. There's my Scopus author ID that was brought in to the ORCID site automatically, my employment, my education. I could fill all this in, but I haven't done so. You could easily do so and then there's a one-stop shop for other researchers to go to to have a look at your academic profile funding and here you can see published work has been populated into the system from other databases crossref here you can see let's just scroll down a little bit you can see Gareth Dyke via Scopus the Elsevier database so what what ORCID has done is searched a range of other databases populated this system without me having to do anything. So there's Scopus, there's Europe PubMed Central. So it's found for me 146 of my papers and I didn't have to do anything. They were all entered into this system automatically. And it's not just papers, not just publications. Here, for example, is a data set entry that's come into this system from the data site system, from the Dryad database. So it's supplementary information that we published in 2014 alongside an article in Systematic Biology. Actually, this system has found that record and entered it here. There's another data set one in BEAST format, the software, the analytical software BEAST. So this is a very, very useful tool for researchers in terms of identifying yourself to other researchers in the submission system of journals, for example, and also for updating and maintaining your CV. So have a look at this website, orchid.org. It's not for profit, very useful tool for researchers. Register 
in a few straightforward steps. Um, and then you can use your ORCID ID, and you may, as I mentioned, see these little green identification tags on the tops of lots of articles that you've probably read in your field. These are a quick way to speed up the submission system. And then you share your ORCID ID with other people. You can send it to people when you apply for jobs, when you apply for grants, when you reach out to colleagues for the first time, and they can quickly click on your ORCID record, find out lots of information about you. So have a look at this system, as I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation, well worth doing, especially if you have quite a common family name and you want other people around the world, international colleagues, to be able to easily identify you. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.